Hello, Divine and God Ministries family. Hello, hello. How are you all doing? I hope you are having a great Saturday. I hope you are enjoying your Saturday. I hope hello, you, ooh, Divine. I'm sorry. I hope that you are enjoying your family, enjoying this nice weather. I'm sorry, I'm trying to, okay, let me make sure I share share this share this i want to share this um okay good hey i'm sorry here we go hello hello how are y'all doing on this super saturday how are y'all doing i am loving this weather but my voice is not loving this weather is it changing i hope you all are having a blessed and restful Saturday. For those of you that do not know me, I am the Reverend Edwina Perrin, founder and CEO of Divining God Ministries. Divining God Ministry is a global ministry here to equip, empower, and teach believers how to fill their spiritual arsenal with an unconcealed weapon to combat the enemy. Yes, yes, listen, as y'all are coming in, hey, Sheila, how are you? As y'all are coming in, Tag some people because this is your weekend word for worship. I am going live to do your weekend word for worship. I am going live to do your weekend word for worship. I hope you all are having a great day. Tag some people, invite some people. Y'all know, use the hashtag there is a word. Hashtag there is a word. Use the hashtag there is a word. Use the hashtag there is a word. I am so excited. I'm so excited to share this word with you all. I'm so excited to share this word um, with you all. Um, and I just wanted to come live. I felt that it was key to come live with this um, weekend word for worship. Um, I felt that it was worthy of coming live to give this word um, that God gave to me. God gave me, as a matter of fact, God gave me two words. I already have the Tuesday talk word. So, but today I'm going to give you a weekend word for worship. Um, and as you're logging on, thank y'all so much for y'all support. Thank y'all so much for how much you share. I, I appreciate those who share the videos. I appreciate those who share the prayers through the week. I appreciate you all. I appreciate you all. So, Listen, I'm not going to hold up long. If you have not subscribed to my podcast, go to hashtag there is a word. Hey, Vanessa, how are you doing? If you have not su subscribed to my podcast, hashtag there is a word podcast. Has hashtag there is a word podcast. So um, subscribe to my YouTube. There are YouTube videos on uh, videos on YouTube that I don't post on Facebook. So if you have not subscribed to YouTube, you're missing out on some things. So listen, tag some people, tag your people, tag your sisters, your brothers, your uncles. I have a word. I have a word from God. I have a word from God. I have a word from God. Sheila, yes, right. Sheila, so glad to be in the number because honey, people are dying. People are dying. Yes, so glad to be in the number. Listen, tag some people. Vanessa, tag people in um in our women's group. Tag people in our women's group. So let me give you this word. Um, and I, I want to talk about this because I'm gonna be transparent for a minute. Um, oftentimes I used to, let me say it this way, I used to feel like when God was not answering my prayers, I felt like He was punishing me for something. That I had done. Listen to me carefully. This is good. I used to think that God was punishing me. For something I did. When he didn't answer my prayers. Come on somebody. I know I'm not the only one. That has ever felt like. Oh my God. Why are you not answering my prayers God. I, I just feel like. Thank you Vanessa. I used to feel like, God, you are punishing me. What did I do so wrong to deserve this punishment? My God. So if you ever felt like that, I, I felt like that. I felt like I was being punished. I felt like, God, 
you know, everybody is prospering and I'm not. And I felt like that. I felt like that. And I felt like God was punishing me when a relationship didn't work out. I was like, God, why you're punishing me? Why, why is everybody else doing what they need to do? And I'm praying, and I'm fasting, and I felt like I was being punished, okay? And so, hey, to everybody that's coming on. Hello, hello, hello. Hashtag, use the hashtag, there's a word. So I was in a season in my life that I felt like I was being punished because things were not working out the way I thought they were working out. And the way I thought they should work out. Come on, y'all. And I felt like, God, why are you punishing me when people are, when other people are doing worse things than I'm doing? Good God from Zion. And so I began to get in this season. I was in this season. I felt like I was always the one that was attacked. I was always up under uh, spiritual warfare or either the punishment of God. Glory to God. I'm trying to help you. But then one day in my house, the glory of God touched me. God says, I don't punish you. He was like, if I punish you, then it would have been no need for me to send my son to the cross. And when he said it is finished, Jesus Christ, <laughs> God said, I may chastise you, but because I don't answer your prayer does not mean I'm not punishing you. Come on, somebody. Just because I didn't answer the prayer the way you want it to be doesn't mean I'm punishing you. God laid me out. He was like, I'm not punishing you. Catch this. I'm preparing you. I'm trying to help somebody. God says, I don't need to punish you. He said, when Jesus died on the cross, he said, it is finished. He said, he died so you could be redeemed. He died so that you can have everlasting life. He was like, you are punishing yourself. Because all you got to do is come and ask me for forgiveness. I'm trying to help y'all. He said, all you have to do is come and ask me for forgiveness. He said, just because I have not answered your prayer does not mean I'm punishing you. Watch this. This is what God says. He said, I'm pruning you for the preparation. Y'all better get that word. He said, I am pruning you for the preparation. Y'all better put hashtag. That's a word. Hashtag. That is a word. He said, I'm not punishing you. I'm pruning you for the preparation. Good God from Zion. God says, if I don't prune you for the preparation, then you won't be parallel to your promise. Y'all, y'all better catch it. Listen to me. God has to prune us for the preparation so we'll be parallel, parallel for our promise. Good God from Zion. I just stopped by to tell you all. God is not punishing you. That's right, Vanessa. There's a difference between punishment and chastisement. I come to tell y'all. Some of y'all feel like God has not heard your prayers. Some of y'all feel like y'all. God is so far away. God said, I'm not punishing you. But I'm pruning you for the preparation. So you will be parallel to your promise. Glory to God. Can I get a witness? Is there anybody that's ready to fulfill your promise? Good God from Zion. If you are ready to be parallel with your promise, if you're ready to be parallel with your purpose, let God do the pruning during the preparation. Good God from Zion. Lord have mercy. I'm trying to help y'all on this Saturday. That's why I had to go live. That's why I had to give this word. God says, I'm going to say this again. He says, I'm pruning you during the preparation so you can be parallel with your promise. <laughs> Y'all, listen, stop thinking God is punishing you. He's not punishing you. Go back and read it. Go back and read in Matthew when he said it is finished. 
when he was hanging on the cross and he died for us. But Lord, that's not where the story ends. The story doesn't end there. He got up with all power in his hand. So I need y'all to rest on that. I need y'all to rest in this. I need y'all to rest in. God is not punishing you. He pruning you during the preparation so you can be parallel with your promise. <laughs> so you can be parallel with your purpose. So you can be parallel with your destiny. So you can be parallel with your future. Oh God. I need y'all to take that. We have 100, two days left in the year. Listen, I told y'all Tuesday night, there is still time. I need y'all to say that. There is still time. So during this time, know that God is not punishing you. He is pruning you during the preparation. And the preparation is just nothing but him making you parallel with your purpose, with your promise, with your destiny, with your future. Glory to God. So share this word with somebody. Somebody needs this. We have 102 days left in this year. Know that it is still time. I told y'all that Tuesday night. There is still time. Listen, y'all got to share. You got to share this word. Somebody needs to hear this word. Listen, I love you all. Thank y'all for those that have already shared it. Thank y'all for those that have invited other people on. Thank you for the invites. Thank you. Thank you so much. Listen, God is pruning us because they are still tired. 102 days left in this year. There is still time. I need you to declare and decree that there is still time. Therefore, he is pruning us for the preparation so we'll be parallel with our promise, with our purpose. Listen, I love y'all. Y'all have a great Saturday. And again, hashtag there is a word. I am the Reverend Edwina Parent. Founder and CEO of Dividing God Ministries. Listen, I love you all. Y'all have a great worship service tomorrow. And this is your weekend word for worship. Love you. Bye-bye.